Hey folks, welcome to another episode of Hey to Me Grilling. Now tonight we're gonna stay here in the kitchen. We're gonna make like a buffalo chicken flatbread pizza style. So let's get started. All right, first thing we're gonna do is take this uh, shallow baking dish here. And I'm gonna come in with some Pam cooking spray. I don't want anything sticking to the bottom. Next, we're gonna take one roll of pizza crust. We're gonna roll it out into this tray here. So we got this rolled out into our pan. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna kind of work it. I still don't have a rolling pin. You'd think I'd have one of those by now, but I don't. So we're just gonna kind of keep working this pizza, or this crust rather, the dough, until it gets the shape that we want. So just keep working it around, about like that. And I want it to all be the same level of thickness. That way it'll all cook through evenly. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna come through along the edges, take my fingers here, and I'm just gonna kind of press down. Basically kind of creating like a, a moat, we'll call it. All the way around our pizza crust here. Just keep right on going. We're gonna, do, like I said, do that all the way around. Next, we're gonna take about two cups of shredded chicken, cooked shredded chicken. Now, if you don't wanna buy a rotisserie chicken and shred it yourself, or you don't wanna use the uh, chicken chunks in a can or if you don't want to cook some chicken breast look here you can get this at walmart rotisserie uh chicken it's already pulled apart now there are some bigger chunks we'll have to shred but that just made life a lot simpler a lot faster all right what we're gonna do next i got me a bowl here and i got two cups worth of this shredded chicken i'm gonna dump that chicken into this bowl i'm gonna take some frank's hot sauce here we're just gonna, no measurement on this, we're just gonna eyeball it. But what we're gonna do is pour us enough Franks in here that we can mix this around and all of our chicken's gonna be coated with the Franks. So just stir it around like so. And I mean, this is what I love about a recipe, right? This is 100% up to you how little or how heavy you go with this. If you want just a little hint of the Franks, Come on with it. I mean, don't use very much, but if you want it kind of heavy, you really want to taste that Frank's, add you some more. But we're just gonna mix this around. We've got our chicken mixed in with our buffalo sauce. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna take the Frank's and I'm just gonna start pouring it onto our bread here, or our pizza dough rather. Then I'm gonna take my brush, and I'm just gonna kind of lightly brush this all over. We got the pranks on there. We're gonna come in with some ranch, and we're just gonna add us some good old ranch dressing on here. Now I'm not gonna brush this in. I'm gonna let this set just the way it is. I use my fingers, and I'm gonna come in. I'm just gonna start kind of spreading this chicken throughout the the top here. Just kind of sprinkle it about. All right, I should have done this beforehand, but I'm gonna take me some garlic powder. I'm gonna come right along the edges here, sprinkling me some garlic powder along what's gonna be our crust, just like that. Next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna come back with a bag, eight ounce bag of shredded cheddar cheese. We're just gonna start kind of spreading this along the top here. And again, this is one of them, you can go as much or as little cheese as you want. I like it cheesy. <laughs> I think my wife just agreed with that. So, I'm gonna sprinkle this on some cheese. I probably used, looks like I'm gonna end up using about half that bag. So, four ounces of ch uh, shredded cheddar cheese. Oh, that's a tongue twister. We're gonna come over the top of that with approximately, roughly about the same amount of shredded mozzarella cheese. Start sprinkling that over the top. Now, remember folks, our chicken is cooked. So we're not worried about cooking the chicken. Basically, we want to cook the dough and get our cheese melted. One last step before we pop this dude in the oven. I'm gonna come back with a bottle with my Franks. I put the lid on it. I'm just gonna kind of give it a few little squirts along the top, about like that. Looks pretty. Now we're gonna bake this at 425 degrees as per the instructions on the packaging for about 14 minutes. Right, folks, y'all bear with me just a second here. Timer just went off. I'm about to pull this out. I opened the 
oven and I want y'all to look at this. Huh? Is that not looking good or what? Oh, uh, we're gonna give it just a few minutes to kind of cool off a little bit. All right, folks, we've let this thing cool for about five minutes. So now we're gonna take us a piece of pizza slicer, pizza. And we're just gonna come right across here. Now we'll come back this way here in this direction. Folks, so here we got it. Uh, the sucker's looking really good, smelling amazing. So now it is time for that all important taste test. Grab this slice here. Folks, this is so incredible. It's super easy. Super doggone delicious. Uh, definitely gonna need a napkin or two eating this, but so good. You can definitely, that Frank's, good. Chicken, ranch, always a good combination. Then that garlic, sprinkling in on the crust, that was a good little addition to it as well. So another great meal, another easy, quick meal. So y'all please let me know what you think of the video. Y'all please like, subscribe, and we'll see y'all later.